Let's talk about some shooting fundamentals for just a little while. So you get your stance down, you get a proper hold on the gun. What do you do next in order to get some good shots? Okay, so three secrets is what they're commonly referred to. You can find them all over the place. They're secrets, not because we keep them secret from each other, but because people don't seem to know them. That's why they're called the three secrets. Sight alignment, sight picture, trigger control. That's what they're talking about when they say that. Sight alignment, how are my sights lined up? Now, most guns today have a notch and a front sight of some sort. It's going to vary drastically based on which one you have, but you're trying to line those up as best you can so that the top of the front sight lines up with the top of the rear sight. The front sight's right in the middle of that notch on that rear sight. That's correct sight alignment. Now you need to hold that to get a good sight picture. So depending on how your gun is zeroed, you need to put that front sight on your target correctly so that with the proper sight alignment, that bullet is going to hit where you expect it to hit. That's your sight picture is lining up the sights on top of that target while maintaining that sight alignment. And the last piece that happens is going to be that trigger control. A nice smooth press of the trigger back to the rear. Okay. Now that's the first part. The gun's going to go off. And if it surprises you when the gun goes off, that's a good thing because it means you didn't do anything to make the gun go off or drive that shot any direction. So you're going to do a nice slow press, get that surprise break. It's going to send that bullet down range. That's what you want. Now what happens next? Well, just like in other sports, when you swing a golf club, you swing a bat, there's a follow through. So there's a follow through involved in shooting as well. You squeeze that trigger, sorry, you press that trigger back to the rear. And as soon as it hits, you're gonna get that recoil, trap the trigger to the rear. You're gonna hold it to the back of that trigger guard. Okay? The gun's gonna recoil, and then you're gonna get back on target. You're gonna hold that trigger to the rear until you're back on target. You're gonna let it go forward and you're gonna feel a little click. You might even hear an audible click. And that's the action inside the slide resetting so that you can actually take another shot. So now as I press the trigger again, you'll hear, there it goes, it clicks again. I'm gonna trap it to the rear, gun's gonna recoil. We call that the press reset press. Okay. It's all about good trigger control, not making the gun go off, but slowly squeezing on that trigger. Sorry, pressing on that trigger. I got to get those terms right. Pressing on that trigger so that you get the gun to go off reliably. Sight alignment, sight picture, good trigger control, all supported with a good grip and a good stance. That's how you're going to get good shots on target. Now, the more you do that, the more comfortable you get with that, the faster you're going to be able to recover from each shot and get more shots on more targets. And that's where the speed comes in. Uh, competition shooting kind of deals with that. Unless you're shooting for accuracy, if you're shooting for speed, the only way that you're going to get faster is to be better at the single shot. The better you get with that single shot, the faster your follow-up shots are going to be. Okay, one last thing that I'm going to say is dry practice. Okay, out here on the range, it's great to hurl lead down range all day. But what happens when I start missing? When my group that used to be three inches all of a sudden becomes a 12 inch group and I'm missing plates left and right with a gun that I shouldn't be missing the plates with. Well, what's going on? Is it the gun? Has it got hot and dirty and it's throwing my shots all over the place? Well, at 12 yards, it's not the gun. It's going to be you. Okay, so what's happening? Either I'm mashing the trigger to get that gun to go off, or maybe I'm just squeezing the gun enough that I'm starting to drive it low and left, or maybe I'm not lining up my sights, or maybe I'm just trying to shoot too fast. I've got something going on where I'm not listening to the rules that I've set on myself for how to shoot well. If that happens, stop. Unload the gun. Even out here on the range, take a couple of dry presses, even just five. Get yourself thinking about sight alignment, sight picture, trigger press, grip and stance. Get that down and you'll start to shoot better again. Okay? I will commonly do that in the middle of a firing session. I'll say, hold on a second, I'm either going too fast or I'm going crazy. I'll unload and I'll do the drill, dry press. The best part about dry practice, you can do it at home. Okay. As long as it's legal to possess a firearm, if you're a college student on a college campus, don't dry practice in your dorm room. That's going to be frowned upon quite a bit. But if you have a house where you're legally allowed to own a firearm, possess a firearm, and you can shoot it, make sure that it's empty. We'll talk about dry practice in another video. Make sure that it's empty. Go ahead, do some dry practice. Build those skills that 
good grip and stance, good sight alignment, good picture, good trigger control. Don't waste ammo. It's 20 cents a round right now for 9mm. That means every five rounds is a dollar. Every Glock magazine, which is 15 rounds, that's three dollars. If I sit here and I do six magazines of garbage work, that's almost 20 bucks. 18 dollars for those of you guys who are doing the math. Almost 20 dollars of wasted money just sending lead downrange. Don't waste your money. Okay? Every shot counts. Anyway, I'm just a guy having fun at the range. Hope you enjoyed that.